This video is for clavicle fractures. The clavicle is called the collarbone, is attached from one end to the acromion and from the other end to the sternum. The clavicle is a long curved bone. It is part of the shoulder girdle. It has two ends. The sternal end is rounded and the acromial end is flat. The conoid tubercle is located at the posterior inferior side of the clavicle. Fracture clavicle is common. It occurs usually in the middle third. It can occur from a fall, a direct blow, or a sports injuries. Patients usually have pain, swelling, bruising, or obvious deformity, like a bump. Fracture clavicle can be tinting the skin, causing noticeable bruising and bump. Treatment is usually ice, rest, and sling. It is difficult to reduce the fracture with the use of a sling or a brace. Indication for surgery includes open fracture, significant displacement, or shortening or overlap of 2 cm or more. How do we do the surgery? The incision is made. The fracture is exposed and reduced, and a plate is added to the fracture. Contoured plates are helpful. Non-union is usually treated by a plate and bone graft. Fracture clavicle with glenoid neck fracture. Treatment is controversial if the fracture is displaced, reduce, and plate the clavicle alone. Distal third clavicle fracture have the highest rate of non-union. The non-union is usually not symptomatic. The proximal fragment is free and displaces superiorly. Example. This is a minimally displaced fracture treated conservatively. This is a displaced fracture treated surgically. This is an x-ray showing the plate and the healing. This is a great function of the patient. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.